Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today I'm going to be doing a short review of the Apple Card. I've had my Apple Card um, for about a week now. I got my approval on Tuesday and I got my physical card on Friday, so tomorrow it will be a week with the physical card. And I've used this a couple places, both um, with Apple Pay, um, online with Apple Pay and with the physical titanium card. And overall, it's been a great experience. Using the titanium card was kind of fun. Um, I actually went to Sonic and the guy was like, wow, what is this? I'm like, it's the Apple card. And he's like, oh, it's a cool card. Uh, so he really enjoyed that. Um, I just used it for Uber Eats. Uber Eats is one of the partners right now where you're getting 3% cash back. Um, I got 2% cash back for using Apple Pay and 1% cash back for using the card. Um, very, very nice app, very nice layout, and it's very, very user-friendly and uh, laid out nicely to explain your spending, explain how to do your payments, um, explain how to save money on interest and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you get your debts paid off um, before this statement is due. Um, so we have the weekly activity right here. I basically used mine for food. Um, so far, that's really all I've bought. Um, no major purchases or anything like that. Um, so we've got my total spending right now. Um, I've used used it fifty four dollars total. Um, made thirty six dollars in payments because the eighteen twelve right here is pending because it's from well six minutes ago. Um, it's really nice and easy to pay when you don't have pending transactions and there is a payment due. All you do is slide this wheel to how much you want to pay, or you can enter a custom amount if you want to do that as well. Um, if you have Apple Cash, you can put that Apple Cash towards your payment, and it will put that towards the payment, and it'll take that that amount um, won't come out of your bank account. So that is very nice. If we pop into the settings here, um, you can set up scheduled payments as well. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can have it pay your bill automatically um, to avoid interest, and that will just pay monthly, pay the full bill. Or you can choose a different amount and schedule, and you can schedule that, set a uh, minimum amount that you want it to do. Um, so you can either do the minimum due, or sorry, the maximum amount, the minimum due, 100 all the way up to... 1500 which is the limit on my card um, I'm assuming if you set it at like 100 and you only owe 50 that it's only going to try and charge you 50 So I'm pretty sure that's just the maximum But I haven't set up automatic payments just because I've pretty much been paying mine from uh, my bank account every time my uh, Purchase clears just to keep my balance at zero um, I do plan on using this card to purchase the new iPhone for the 3% cash back So I will be doing that using Apple pay on the Apple website when the new iPhone comes out um, and just selling this iPhone for the difference. But that is pretty much my Apple card. I've really been liking it. Like I said, nice app, nice layout, very user friendly and intuitive and really lays out your spending very nicely. If you haven't applied yet, I do recommend you apply. Um, like I said, if you're trying to track your spending, if you're trying to save some money, um, you know, I know credit cards are a good way to get into debt, but they're also, um, especially one like this, is also a good way to help you out. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.